Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back, and welcome to our review, my review, on the Winbridge Home Hi-Fi Audio Karaoke Speaker System, Model T9, the flagship 40-watt powerful DSP sound network broadcast instrument input. All right, so this was sent to me by Winbridge. It is apparently their flagship model. They need to go back and design a few things. Well, i sorry to report to you guys, but you know what? You get honest reviews from me, even when companies send me expensive toys like this. This is $360 some odd dollars in Canada, or $299 on Amazon in the United States. Alright, so, this thing comes with two microphones. Now, let me just zoom out, because we want to show you stuff. Okay, so, on the starting gate we have the wireless mic. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, so we have the acoustic voice. We have a. This is a professional voice. I don't know what's so professional about it. I want my sucker right now, or I'm telling mom. You go ahead and you tell your mother you see if I care. Honey, be nice to the baby. That's supposed to be a female voice. Okay. Popular. This is our popular voice. Now this is our MC voice. Welcome everybody, we're gonna party tonight. And back to acoustic. Okay. So that's the wireless mic. Pretty cool. Rechargeable, built-in battery. They do give you a charger for it. They also give you a charger for the main unit itself, of course, because it does have a 4,000 milliamp battery in this sucker. So, now we are on the wired mic that comes with this thing, and you can use both at the same time. You can use both at the same time. Hello. Some of you are getting amused, that's good. So, so we're, we're going to go, go back, back to the man, man voice again. And the baby. And the lady. And, and the uh, professional. The acoustic. The popular. The MC. Because we're here to party, folks. Yes, we are. Okay. A little too much. Now, the volume control has absolutely no effect over anything here. Nothing. Look at that. Zip. All right. The volume control does work, though. So, let's plug in a USB stick into the back of this thing. We will show you back ports momentarily. Do not worry. Now, of course, this is one of my own songs that's going to play. Should it choose to. Okay. Back to the beginning. So you can sing along with this. Because we can. Okay, so there's also a micro SD UH card F1. slot as well UH in the back. Does connected. the exact same thing. Yes, we know. Oh, we, we know, know, we know, we know, we know. Yes, we know, because we're the baby. Spoiled rotten person. Yes, that's me. No, no I meant me. I'm the spoiled rotten person. Oh, that's so true, Daddy. We know it too! Now where's my sucker? That's so much fun, guys. Okay, so... It has an instrument jack. Yes, we are plugged in with an electric guitar. My Gibson Les Paul Studio. And before we give you any kind of embarrassing sounds out of this thing, 
Let me quickly check the tuning on this thing, because I haven't been messing with this thing since, like, Sunday. Oh, yeah, she's out a bit. So, anyways, um, the instrument port is kind of uh, interesting, because you cannot control the volume, uh, which really kind of bites. Um, you should be able to control the volume of every port, regardless of the mode it's in, too. Okay, so we are actually tuned up. Now, this guitar, of course, does not have active pickups in it. It has a set of 57 classics. And, of course, this is what we're going to get. And we cannot do anything there. So, if we switch to Bluetooth mode... Bluetooth is waiting for... We still get no connection. Back to UHF mode. Or no mode in this case. There we go. We have to be in UHF or Bluetooth or have an MP3 in there in order to get the instrument channel to work. Now if we lower the volume... Now seriously folks, this is supposed to be a 40 watt amplifier. Can I not hear some clean sound at a loud volume? Of course not, because you have no control. Right? Let's add in some actual distortion with that. very interesting. I'm going to unplug the wired mic. Hello. And I'm going to switch inputs. Now the guitar is in the wired mic port. Now that's an overdriven natural sound. Let's turn that down a bit. I think I can live with that, sort of. We got a bit of natural reverb because we're in the acoustic voice. And do we have our microphone? Yes, we do, folks. Let's have some fun. Switch over to that pickup. Let's go professional mode. What does that sound like? I can't even sing the plane like that. And this is yet another issue. Let's see what a baby sound sounds like. Hear the man. The lady. Back to acoustic. Let's throw on some distortion.
folks, is as soon as you try and give us some more extra volume to the guitar, to get the distortion you're after, because whatever you turn down the volume on a guitar tends to roll off that nice bite that you wanted and gives you this uh, overdrive when you want distortion. Okay, so we have no control over volume. Or do we? Let's see what happens. <laughs> to our UHF mic. Hello. Where's my microphone level set? Hmm, 18. Okay, it's now at 20, which is as high as it goes. because acoustic should be clean anyway, as we know. However, let's plug the mic back in, but into the instrument port. This is so going to go six ways to Sunday wrong. Or is it? Well, would you look at that, folks? It sounds horrible with the microphone. Holy cow. This is not cool. All right. So let's plug the mic back in where it belongs. And would you look at that? We're nice and clean again. Ha 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 ha. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Are we clean or are we clean? Yes, we are so clean. Okay. Now the remote control that comes with this thing is actually kind of really flipping cool. However, there's some oversights to this that might be a little annoying. So if we switch over to uh, Bluetooth mode. Come on. Switch, baby. Okay, in Bluetooth mode, we can access some extra features here. Um, this one here is called Machine Gun. You're going to hear that over top of your MP3 that you're trying to sing with, if you push that button. Of course, laughter. <laughs> this next one's called Silence. Does this look like silence? No, that's actually boo, crowd boo. They should call that crowd booing. This one's called cute. Mama, da, da. No. And uh, this one's called kits. Pucker up, baby. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So, and we're going to go baby voice. This, this is, is the, the baby, baby voice. voice. This, this is, is the man, man voice. voice. The lady voice. This, this one's called magic. magic. What, what is, is magic? magic? I don't, I don't know, know, but I can, I can speak, speak faster than this thing can, can keep up. up. It actually screws, screws me up because this goes so slow and I'm trying to talk fast. fast. But well, we're on the air, man, boys. And of course, we have the acoustic, we have the we professional. Have the we have the FC, we are here to party tonight, folks. Yes, we are, yes, we are. Thank you, I'm Mr. Popular. Yes, I am, I'm Mr. Popular. I'm telling you, I am. Don't argue with me because I'm always right. Okay. So. <laughs> <clears throat> this was sent to me by Windbridge. This is their flagship model. They wanted me to do a review. I saw a couple of reviews um, from some folks on YouTube that they sent it to, and I was thoroughly disappointed in those videos myself, and I can see why they probably were too. You guys want good, honest reviews? This is definitely a channel to come to because I do not hold anything back, even on freebies that I get from companies. 
that costs $360 Canadian like this one does, or $300 US. The instrument port on this thing is horrible, okay? You're going to have to turn your guitar or your instrument down so low you're going to barely be able to hear it in order to get it to clean up. We've witnessed it ourselves with the microphone being plugged right into the instrument port. It sounds bad. Okay, and of course an instrument in the instrument port sounds bad. But if you plug your instrument into the wired microphone port, great, sounds good. So as long as it's you and your wireless mic, yay, you're good to go team. But you're going to have to leave this up. Turn down the volume from your guitar and adjust your mic, your wireless mic accordingly. But then it's just you and that. This thing is promoted that you should be able to have not only both mics going at the same time, but you should also be able to also have an instrument plugged in like a guitar or an electric guitar. Because throughout the manual they show an acoustic guitar hooked in, they show an electric guitar hooked in, they show different ways to hook stuff up and jam things out. And you know what? That instrument port is horrible. Nobody else has tested the, the instrument port that I saw reviews on, okay? And like I said, there ain't much when you try looking up this amp. So, I tested it and live for you guys. Now, you also have some other hookups, obviously, on this little guy. You've got some cables. One of them is for an Apple, so the red one's for your Apple devices, and the black one's for any device, okay? Except for Apple, of course. Um, but it's for like, you know, a portable CD player, tape recorder, Walkman, um, you know, Android phone, Android tablet, whatever you want to hook in, right? So, which is fine. Very heavy unit, by the way. 4,000 milliamp battery. Should get you about eight hours of fun. Now, we have the mic port. We have the DC import. We have the instrument port. Something to stay away from, apparently. We have the TF slot port. That's for your micro SD card or you can use USB. We we decided to go with USB for this. I actually did have an SD card ready to go, but we also have this webcast. What is it? What do they call this webcast? Webcast port, auxiliary in and of course headphones for private listening. Now, as far as I'm concerned, there's some real bad things here. The master volume control is only good when you're in Bluetooth mode um, or or if you're running an MP3, then the master volume works. And of course, you will have separate control over your microphones when you're singing along with your favorite MP3s, right? Okay? Or your favorite CD or tape cassette, what have you, okay? You can fast forward, rewind stuff, pause stuff, your mode button. It's a continuous rotating volume control that just never stops until it hits 30. And of course, you can still keep winding it and then wind it down. The heavy duty leather strap is a very nice touch. Um, good sign of quality. You got two three and a half inch speakers in this puppy. You've got two one inch tweeters. And you got some good sized passive radiators in the back as well to add some extra boom boom bass. So, there's one thing we haven't tested this on, and that's a computer system. But before we even think about that idea, because it may or may not happen, I would like to point out a few other things. If you're going to try and use this as any kind of a PA announcement system, you are going to royally tick people off. Because the one thing that everybody can agree on on this planet and on YouTube is that when we're listening to a speaker, we don't want to hear echo in his or her voice. We want to hear a clear, concise, pitched voice. We don't want to hear any kind of background echo, reverb, delay, and the only cleanest channel this thing has to offer is called acoustic. Okay, which I don't know why they even call it acoustic to begin with. Okay, but I guess they did. Anyways, should be called clean and have no effect on it whatsoever. Because I can tell you for myself, nothing annoys me more than going to a um, seminar or what have you and hearing nothing but that reverb or echo in the person's voice. Whether it's a mild, if it's mild room echo, that's one thing, you cannot control that. And that's acceptable for everybody. Nobody would argue that. But when it's already part of the, the voice already, yeah, we all don't like that. And that's something that should be, should have been right from the get go, um, is to not have that uh, capability. The other effects are kind of cute and cuddly and fun, 
and they are for fun more than anything. Um, the only vocal effect I find is really good as far as with singing with is actually the acoustic one because it has just a touch of reverb, which is what you need, okay, on a vocal. <clears throat> Not necessarily the best idea for a guitar and vocal to be sharing the same effect, however it can work and that's not a big deal. So it's not a deal breaker in any way, shape or form. The quality of the microphone and the cable that comes with the XLR one is very, very good. Okay, the quality of this cordless or wireless mic is exceptionally good quality. It's very well built, very well thought out design too. You know, I, I really like how they did this and with the charge port in the back there's a little red light that will come on when it's charging. When it's charged, it goes off. Uh, don't try and charge it with power on. Always make sure you turn the power off first. The buttons feel great too, by the way. Lots of good travel in those buttons. You know, I'm sure they're good for the long haul, so that's awesome. The sound quality of the microphones so far seems to be very, very good. So very impressive there. Um, so I have no argument as far as, you know, even this unit is a well-built unit. It seems good quality. The buttons are very good. You do have to press and hold on the mic level in order for anything to happen. You can't just go click, click, click in little stages. Nor can you do that on the wireless. On the wireless you actually have to push and hold either to go down in volume or go up. Um, if you want to change frequencies up or down, it's quick clicks. Okay, so be careful with that. Um, the instructions for the majority of it are very clear and very good. I will give them that. That's an upgrade. Uh, so they did a pretty good job with the instruction manual or user manual as uh, we like to call these things. So it does do a very nice job. So, um, However, like I said, they show here the ability to do all of these items here. You've got an electric guitar, keyboard, I guess your cable box, TV, phones, MP3 players, you know, how to play through the auxiliary port. Okay. Um, of course, you can use Bluetooth for all your Bluetooth devices. And see, again, they show an acoustic guitar with the mic. Okay. They show you your webcasting. So what's the webcasting thing about? Well, that's a very good question. It's called, how do you live stream? So live streaming it has to do with your webcasting, apparently. Or does it? We're not sure why they would even call that webcasting. How to connect a UHF microphone. Yeah, they, they go through that. They don't actually tell you anything about the remote. I mean, I guess it's kind of like the buttons are clear, so you should be able to figure it out by looking and reading. But they don't really get into much about the remote. They also don't tell you that the remote is kind of useless unless you're in Bluetooth mode or <laughs> MP3 playback mode. Um, but uh, there is a thing here on, I think there is something here on the webcast thing. I'm not sure what webcast jack is all about. They have an auxiliary input which you can use for multitudious things. Now I'd imagine if you had a eighth inch uh, to quarter inch adapter, you could plug your guitar into the auxiliary port and it'll likely be a lot cleaner than the um, thing, but I can't seem to find my adapter. Um, so, and I'm not really all that overly concerned about it um, because we already know that when you switch over to the microphone port, which is going to be about the same quality as the aux port, we do get a nice clean sounding guitar, but you have the control you where you have nothing really because as soon as you touch the the mic volume on the unit it affects both mics not just the one <coughs> so that should have been a separate thing for each mic to have its own independent control 100% um, you know what they don't really tell you much about this webcasting thing common functions Webcast output. Oh, I'm wondering if that's outputting webcast output. I'm wondering if that's kind of like a line out sort of system. Like I said, it really doesn't tell you much. I didn't try the port because I just 
I didn't bother with it. I wanted to cover the most important things, especially once I started plugging my guitar in and thought, ooh. But we did give you MP3, we did give you all the rest, so we're all good. You know, no worries. It's funny how they don't tell you what that webcast output jack is for. It's a jack, but where do we plug it into? Doesn't tell us. They tell you about the charging. Now, here's the thing. Charging. Oh. Okay, remember I said the little pretty red light on the wireless mic goes out? Um, it does. It actually does go out um, once it's charged. So, but the power connection to the main unit, I actually want to draw your attention off of this for a minute and more on to me here. Okay. Hey, now you get to see me. So, when you're using the power supply to charge the big unit, they tell you that when you charge it, the little battery light will go cling, 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 cling. Each one of those little markers is 25%, up to 100% obviously, right? So when it's fully charged, it'll stop blinking. And they say, leave it on charge for another one to two hours afterwards. And this is good for the battery. But what they also get into is they tell you right in the manual not to leave it plugged into the charger all the time because this could be a bad thing. Okay, so in the please note about charging, we charge it with a 15 volt AC adapter. Like I said, 4,000 milliamp battery in this thing. It takes a little while to charge. Um, normally it takes six to eight hours to fully charge the battery if it's lower than zero per, at zero percent strength. Battery status tells you about that. We discussed when charging is required. Voice prompt will let you know. Okay, and it says recharge the battery within 48 hours of a low battery. Uh, it is suggested that you charge the internal battery in, in an additional one to two hours uh, safely, safer, safer, fully charged to extend its life. So you're going to extend the battery life by leaving it on for an extra two hours after it's charged. I think that's going to cover my, my, my tushy statement of um, just in case the little idiot light might be wrong, <laughs> you might want to leave it in for an extra two hours and then you're guaranteed. That's what I would call that. Now, here's the, the other part. Um, please do not overcharge the battery by leaving the system plugged in continuously. This will reduce the life of the internal rechargeable battery and could cause overheating. Now, anybody know what overheating does to batteries or can do to batteries? Okay, which tells me they didn't put in a cutoff circuit. Because if they did, that warning about that wouldn't be in there. See, you should be able to leave that plugged in all the time and even use it while it's plugged in and not even touch the battery. Okay? Um, and then when you're ready to go portable, you just unplug it and say, see ya, back in eight hours, charge again. They didn't put in an internal cutoff circuit according to this explanation because otherwise that wouldn't be there. So what they're telling us is there is no internal cutoff for the battery. So this could not be a cool thing because they did say it could overcharge the battery and cause overheating of the battery which will shorten the battery. Well, it can also do other things to batteries when they don't have a cutoff circuit. So, yeah. Anyways, so what do you guys want to know? You want to know what I really think? Okay, well, I think it's a well-built unit. I think it's definitely a quality-built unit. I do appreciate the sound of it, playing back music. Um, I think vocally, um, the nicest effect, of course, is the acoustic effect. The other ones are more just for toys, okay, and your own little entertainment. Um, as a karaoke machine, at least it'll work great for that because you can actually independently control your microphone and your um, MP3 or whatever you're streaming through, okay? You will be able to use the volume control for that, which will be fantastic. That part's good. Instrument. You have no instrument control, okay, with volume other than on your instrument itself. 
And as we've discovered, the guitar sounds lousy, okay, in the instrument port. It actually sounds great in the microphone port for the XLR mic, but we can't plug the XLR mic into the instrument port because then the microphone sounds horrible. So I'm really not sure how to call this. Um, is this something that's got a bad circuit in it? Because as you know, the last amplifier I reviewed for you guys from Winbridge, um, yeah, it had definitely some audio issue, but this is kind of something a little bit different. So now I have a battery powered preamp pickup in my acoustic, which I've tested thoroughly on this unit, and it sounds very, very bad. Okay, the electric guitar that we tested is my Gibson Les Paul Studio uh, 2018 with 57 classics, which are not powered pickups by any means. They're just straight out uh, pickups. Okay, they're passive pickups. So they should not have that much influence and they should not distort like it did through the instrument port. Okay, if anything. Now, the book does claim, of course, as we saw, that you can plug in an electric guitar directly or an acoustic guitar directly. It doesn't matter, okay? The problem is, you have no control. You need to have control of the volume of your guitar so that if you want distortion, for example, on your electric guitar, like we tried, if we turn down the volume, we clean up the signal, which we don't want. Okay, but if we had an actual volume control on the amp separate for that channel, then we could turn it down and still keep our beautiful distortion that we wanted to do some headbanger songs to. Okay, so that would make sense. But we don't have that. Okay, that control is taken away from us. It's not there. Um, so they definitely, for a flagship model, um, have a lot more work to do on this thing. That is for sure. Honestly, I am not going to recommend this thing for anybody who wants to use that instrument jack port, okay? Find another way around it. Um, my suggestion would be, have your friend who's playing guitar, or if you're one of them who's playing guitar and you want to amp things up, have a separate amplifier for your guitar, because using this like it's designed to be used is obviously not working out. We've discovered this. That is very bad. Now, this is stuff that honestly, and Winbridge, I know you're watching my video because you wanted this. Get your designers to fix this, please, because this is a very bad thing. It's a beautiful unit, guys. It really is. And it does have a lot of potential if we could have better control independently over our microphones. We could have an actual clean vocal channel for just straight being able to talk to people as if it's a PA conference kind of thing. Uh, because anything with straight speech with any kind of an effect like reverb, echo, delay, drives people mental. Okay, so that you need to change one of your effects for. Um, I'm not against the other effects. I think they're kind of cute. Uh, some of them are kind of fun. Um, more entertaining on the children's side or whatever. Um, but... Um, the other effects are kind of neat too, but as far as vocally goes for singing, yeah, the acoustic is the best one for singing. The other ones are not so great for singing along with, but hey, to each their own, do what you want. It's just my opinion on that. Um, machine gun thing, I don't know why it's there, but it would disturb me trying to sing along with one of my songs and somebody hit the machine gun button. I don't know why, but hey, I guess it's an extra toy they threw in. More toys! It's got to be worth something, right? Um... Okay, in my opinion, honestly, if I was planning to plug an instrument into this unit without these changes being made and fixing that port properly uh, with its own independent volume and cleaning up the signal, because as we've seen, it's a garbage signal, unless we plug the guitar into the mic jack, and we're not supposed to do that. And the mic, as you know, sounded lousy in the instrument port. So there's something going on in the instrument port. You gotta fix that, okay? I don't know. But, as it stands, if you are going to purchase this, people, and have the intentions of plugging any kind of instrument into the instrument port, then don't buy this. I can't recommend it. It's not good enough, okay? The quality of that port is not good enough or suitable for any instrument, okay? Um, 
as far as the microphones go, they're great quality. The sound through them is fantastic. The main unit is fantastic, except for, of course, what we've talked about, that we need to clean a few things up. Okay, that would be something that would be kind of a requirement, okay? Um, the adaptability of the auxiliary port would probably be okay to plug a guitar into that with an adapter like I did on the one video for you guys on the, the last amp I tested of theirs, except for one problem. It's a lot of weight having a cable or even a wireless adapter that's heavy uh, on such a skinny port and that could cause some issues. So I wouldn't recommend doing that just to get a clean sound and still being able to use both mics, okay? You shouldn't have to do that, all right? Um, the port is there that's supposed to be for an instrument, it should be used for an instrument because it's built to withstand it. Um, but obviously we have lousy sound quality out of that port. We don't know why. Um, I think that overall if they fixed these bugs, they would have an outstanding unit for $300 US or $360 Canadian. But as it stands right now, I don't want to recommend it. Like, literally, probably to anybody, period. Okay? But if you do want to buy it and you have no intentions of using this for an instrument, with an instrument, then okay. You got one port, at least you have a heads up on that is garbage, and the other ones should be fine. Before we go, we are going to test this thing on my computer system with a video game because we need to test one of those ports out, mainly the auxiliary port, and see how things shake down. So, don't go away. This will be instant for you, and we'll have a final wrap-up on this. Okay? Thank you. And we're back, and we are going to fire up a video game for you guys. My favorite, Far Cry. I've only beaten this 84 bazillion times. The sound you're now hearing is coming through our wonderful PA amplifier. And that's 20 out of 30. My computer output through the headphone is set at 67%. So if you wanted to use this for external speakers, in place of normal external speakers, let's see what it sounds like. Probably shouldn't have done that. Okay, let's crank this thing right to 30. stays clean. But also, let's see how loud it is. We'll use the machine gun because it's... Again, this thing is no 40 watts. 10, realistically, is about where I'm thinking. Okay, given how loud it is, the kind of thump it has, what it can actually produce, 40 watts should have enough power to literally not only feed back those mm -hmm. microphones, Severely like you wouldn't get far enough away from this amp at 40 watts of full power with an XLR mic 
you, you, you'd have to literally put a 50 foot cable on it to get far enough away to avoid feedback. So not 40 watts, okay? Not even close. So let's uh, bring some attention this way. Okay. So where am I at? Again, fantastically built unit. I've only dropped one battery level in all the testing I've done tonight, plus three times I'm trying to cut this video for you guys. Um, but in the whole, it's not 40 watts, truly. 10 watts, realistically, is about where I'm kind of sitting at it. I think it's, it's about a good 10 watts. The sound quality is still clear on the computer, a full blast of everything, which is kind of good. Um, and that's through the auxiliary port. So we know the aux port works good. But, and we know we have control over the aux port. Which brings to the question, if we used an adapter on the guitar to go from an eighth inch mini to a quarter inch female to plug our guitar in properly, we would have control over our guitar and two mics. But, again, this has its own instrument port specifically for an instrument with no control whatsoever, which we should have, but we don't, okay? This switches over to what's called the line port, okay? Now, the curiosity part is on the line port, do we actually have access to the microphone still? Let's find out. So I'm just gonna turn on the wireless mic, and it looks like we have control. And we definitely have to drop that volume. Okay, so our volume is now set at 10, and we're on the wireless mic. So which means we will have control over the volume for our incoming signal to the aux, but of course our only control for the microphone is here, okay, which will be here or at the thing. And this will this will only affect itself and leave everything else full blast. So you can have the uh, XLR mic at full tilt and then use this to balance out the second person's vocals and then plug a guitar into the auxiliary port. That is the only way that this becomes a viable unit exactly as it is right now. But that's not the way we're supposed to be using this thing. Um, so we should be using the instrument port which doesn't work where the beans. Okay. Anyhow, um, honestly guys I'm not going to really recommend this if you are going to attempt to use the instrument port because it's a bad port, okay? Now, I, I don't know if it's a bad port on my unit particularly. The other people that they had doing the reviews for this never tested the instrument port out, um, so it's hard to say if it's just a fluke thing or not, but I'm thinking probably not because everything else works absolutely great, okay? Um, but... It, it's, a, it's a tough call. And we did try plugging the microphone into the instrument port, and we did get crappy audio regardless. So whether we're using a mic or a guitar, it does not matter. Okay, and I've tried the acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, so I know where it's going. Um, I, I would have to honestly say that this thing would deserve somewhere in the neighborhood of about a 3 out of 5. And as a karaoke machine, fantastic. Okay? Pretty much anything you want to do with this thing will work except for the instrument port. So if you're a person that's thinking, hey, a portable amp and I can plug my acoustic or my electric into this, maybe even some pedals too on the electric side, which you could. Okay, we did that. Um, it's not going to work for you on the instrument port. Okay, so you're going to have to be a one-man show with one microphone, which is going to end up being your wireless. Whatever effect you choose for your wireless is going to be the same main effect on the guitar. So the acoustic channel has a slight bit of echo to it, and uh, which is fine for a vocalist that's singing. Um, and it's livable through the guitar because it's really not that bad. But that's actually a good level of reverb uh, or echo for a vocal for, for singing. Um, and the guitar would actually hide a lot of that from the guitar so you wouldn't pick it up um, but uh, and besides I always like a bit of reverb on a guitar anyways I think it makes it sound a little bit better um, but yes this does present a lot of issues obviously right with that port 
Um, it's not worth 300 bucks US. It's not worth $360 Canadian currently, the way this thing is. We've mentioned the problems that should be addressed and fixed, other than getting that port to operate the way it should, uh, which would be a good thing. Uh, we do have to have some independent control for volume over that particular port. That needs to be addressed. You have to have independent control over your instrument port so that when you turn down the dial voluntarily, yes, you clean up a distorted electric guitar and make it more bluesy toned or overdriven, um, but then when you want it to raunch out, you, you go full blast. But the thing is, is when you go full blast currently, you're only going to be able to do that through the microphone port and then you're going to have the issue where this is not going to be loud enough. So, and the idea of singing and playing an instrument is your vocals have to be over top of your guitar, it, it, over top of your instrument, not an option. We need to hear what you're singing. We don't want to hear just your instrument, we want to hear both. So, it's not worth the money currently. The problems have to be addressed. Now, for what other YouTubers that reviewed this for Winbridge had mentioned, even though they did very little testing compared to me, which is why my videos are long. Sorry, Winbridge, I know you wanted 10 minutes, but you're going to get what you get, and that's detailed and thorough. Okay, and that's what my channel is about: is detailed and thorough, and honest reviews. Okay. <coughs> if I was watching a video on this right now, and I was thinking about, hey, I need a portable karaoke PA thing that I can plug an instrument into, and I come across my channel. Okay, so let's play Devil's Advocate here. This would be a turn off to me. I would just not even bother. I would keep looking for something else because knowing that there's a possible problem, why would I spend $300 US or $360 odd dollars Canadian on something that has been told to me after a thorough testing has definitely got some issues. Never mind the other videos where, you know, what they did come up with which was really one other guy that really kind of came up with some of the same things I did, uh, except he didn't go as in-depth with testing as I did either. But um, either way, given that, looking at my own channel as, as an outsider watching this channel, um, honestly, guys, I would walk away from this right now until Winbridge fixes the problem, which means they have to have like basically an, a new version that's an upgraded version. Take this one off the shelves, get it the problems addressed that need to be addressed properly, okay? Then you've got a flagship model. Then you're going to have something really hot, okay, that's going to be a great seller at 300 US or 360 Canadian. Because I think if all these problems were fixed and all the other issues that I've mentioned are addressed properly, then I would definitely recommend it. But right now I can't, okay, and I won't because it's just not worth it, okay? Um, I do appreciate Winbridge for sending me this unit. Um, I'm pretty sure they knew that they were definitely in for more than a 10 minute video even though they asked for only 10 minutes. Um, but I, want, I won't cookie cutter things, guys, you know that. I wanna give you like the full goods here. That's what I'm about. So thanks for watching. Thank you again, Winbridge, for sending me this unit. Um, I'm going to have to, I guess, try and find an adapter for the aux port to play my guitar through this, but otherwise I'll play with it with other things, who knows, but, you know, maybe I'll, f uh, no, I'm not even going to think about trying to figure out what's going on with that port myself, but anyhow, in the meantime, guys, if you're not sub, please do so, and smash that bell for notifications, stay tuned, I've got some more goodies coming in the mail, and some more videos coming up um, that should be quite entertaining to some of you, I'm sure, or most of you. Um, but, uh, and of course, as always, hey, see ya.